So I have a way that AGS can make open world content in New World absolutely great again with real minimal effort, I think. To life the open world PvP. No, that's just us, man. This is just like our little company of people that enjoy PvPing. And uh, a couple of other boys in the other factions have just spammed it that we're here. And they've come to kill us and it's fucking great. So just quickly before we get into this and my wonderful ideas, just a quick thank you, really. Um, had quite a few views, quite a lot of comments, quite a lot of DMs on the past videos, and it is basically me rambling. So I absolutely appreciate you giving a shit about my opinion and uh, hopefully you enjoy this one too. So the idea is if you roll back all the way to the start of New World, some of the biggest and greatest memories of New World are, I don't know, uh, 30 people on a chest run or doing some PvP missions and you get an, another group of 10 or 20 like jump out of the bushes and ambush them or you know similar scenarios where there's just groups of open world content happening PvP typically and then you have someone just chopping some trees or mining some ore and in the background there's just this huge battle going on and it was it would genuinely was some of the best of the funniest and most exciting times New World has ever had we have been trying to organize this ourselves, and you know there has been some real successful open world PvP moments and just some genuinely good community fun essentially that's that's been had but I would like to essentially ask for your help to help me reach out to AGS and say, hey, maybe with a couple of these, what I think is small ideas, we could potentially get some really awesome open world content, which will create fun for the community, fun for the players, and potentially some great content for other people to see and be like, oh my God, this is fantastic. You know, it's genuinely brilliant again. And people will come back and play it. So the idea is very simple. Now, if you've been playing the game semi-recently, you might remember what we dubbed as Great Cleave. No, Green Cleave on our server, but Great Cleave. Essentially, what happened was they changed the way... Um, no, they didn't. They, they introduced the PvP reward track. And players essentially found that if you go to Great Cleave, it's the shortest place with pretty good rewards. So essentially, what you had is just hundreds of people diving into great cleave and from the from the outpost to the missions there was just people running them over and over and over again and essentially cheesing their way up the pvp reward track that's what we're going to do man if we find the best way we're going to do it and uh, essentially it just created this huge concentration of players and if you ask anyone who maybe people who dislike pvp didn't enjoy it but anyone who has you know casual enjoyment of pvp or hardcore enjoyment of pvp this was awesome you know you had people with bows up on the rocks you had you know small battles here small battles there small battles there people griefing each other a little bit of banter here and there it was genuinely uh good fun so essentially the idea is this take uh take crassus event take uh, the winter uh, warrior event take any event that new world's done or just you know any particular boss um, what we need to do is instead of spawn all of these bosses four or five at a time in four or five locations and then once you kill it, it respawns again in, I don't know, 20 minutes or whatever the timer is. We have, we have kind of a schedule, like an event schedule. Now hear me out before you say, yes, it's going to kill the servers. Yes, the, the infrastructure is not there for it. Yes, I know. I know, I know. But... If you roll back to the uh, the PTR, they've genuinely had some really big moments with lots of PVE players doing some damage to mobs, and it genuinely it's performing a lot better than what it used to be. Now the issue is when we turn on PvP and there's collision and stuff. So I know we're going to have some lag, but the idea is this: uh, an event happens or a boss spawns, and we have five or six spawns throughout the day. Let's say let's go with six. What we'll do is we'll say at nine o'clock, twelve o'clock four o'clock, seven, whatever the time's going to be, um, the boss is going to spawn at this particular location. location. Now, we'll, we'll dot these around the map. So one of my favorite and most requested places would be at the top of Malevolence. Now, we know there's a boss there already, so maybe he spawns slightly off or something like this. We just know in one hour's time from now, uh, a boss is going to spawn, an open world boss is going to spawn at this particular location that's it that's all there is to it we have bosses we have timers um we have pvp we have everything we need all i would like my idea is to, re to rejuvenate this open world to start with is a boss will spawn on malevolence at 6 p.m 
at 5 p.m we get the timer saying he's going to spawn what will happen is let's take the pve scenario it's a pve scenario the boss will spawn at six o'clock you'll get people turn up there and at six o'clock they'll kill it it needs to be rewarding enough so we, you know they would have to drop a nice reward for everyone whether it's gold or i don't know say there's been a <laughs> <laughs> say there's been a dupe on a particular moat let's say the fire moats have been duped and they need to uh reduce the the value of them i don't know i'm talking out my butt here spawn fire moats and whatever it may be spawn us something that's valuable enough to people to warrant going back um great pve is done it's like any particular boss there's a loot table there's stuff fantastic great people get it done now we roll on to 7 p.m. At 6 o'clock, we get told the boss is going to spawn. But this time, you have to be PvP flagged to do damage to this boss. So obviously, you know, at this point, PvEers are going to be annoyed because they're not going to be able to do damage to it. However, they've had one before. So we're reaching both audiences here. Now, this could get crazy. This could get a little bit, you know, out of control. And I think that would be awesome. It gets announced at 6 o'clock. 7 p.m., this boss is spawning. The factions band together. Covenant take 50 people and they're on top of Malevolence. Green are there late. The green then start to push up to Malevolence. You've got all these choke points, all these awesome moments. Top to bottom, you've got fire dropping down, you know, bow shooting, musket shooting. Then you've got the melee guys pushing up through the corridors. It creates the most insane and dynamic PvP content there is in New World. Using the environments in different ways. I've been there. I've done it. We've had some of the most insane fights there at launch. Malevolence is just a suggestion. There's there's other there's other locations too that we could come up with, but that's it. And and at, and at six o'clock the or seven o'clock this is the boss spawns and whoever has control at the top maybe there'll be ten of each that have got up there and there's a little bit of PvP and PVE or one faction completely dominates that and then they win it. Now I know I know that there's lots of variables here. Maybe one faction's completely dominant than the others. Um, maybe maybe the rewards are not good enough, so people don't do it anyway. Maybe maybe this isn't the right solution. But I think I think it is. <laughs> Genuinely, I think it is. We had it the other night, so we're on Barry on EU. Um, I had some friends on Covenant, some friends on Syndicate, and obviously I'm on Marauders. We just said let's get as many people together. Now, there was nothing to fight over apart from fighting. And I think someone said we had over 400 people turn up. Now, on a server that's, you know, I think we're hitting like 2K cap. We've, we had so many people show up. And we didn't expect this. So we're at the fort. Everyone's getting teleported away and blah, 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 blah. It's a right mess. So what I'm asking here is if you guys would like to see something like Great Cleave again, where we get rewarded and and an objective to do some open world pvp i think this is possibly a really great middle ground because even if it was just done in events to start with as a test let's say the summer the summer events coming up we have a boss in the summer event instead of spawning 10 bosses consistently throughout the day and you get this you get this it's like a chest run again you're just running between bosses and just straight up murdering it without any thought you know it's a race to get there and and you know tag it it's not it's it's really it's really unthrilling it's deadly sh it's 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 bad <laughs> um so what i'm asking is if you guys would like to see this on the next on the next um event that the ags puts together spawn us bosses that are not consistent but they are scheduled throughout the day, five or six, however many they think works with their statistics. And make at least 10% of them. Just let's say there's 10, make one of them a PvP only flag or make two of them PvP only flags. Um, so you have to be PvP flag to kill it. It will create such an incredible dynamic in the open world. And one of the greatest things in New World is the environment and we just don't utilize it you know we're stuck in the same opr map or we're stuck in the same arena map stick us in the open world and let us fight in the open world and let us fight for something and it would be it would be a really great way to bring excitement back to new world pvp now there's my thoughts i would love to hear your comments below uh, I speak about this often on stream. There is a thousand pros, there's a thousand cons, there is a thousand variables to this. Now um, think of it very top level as minimal effort for AGS as possible and I'd like to try and make an impact.
we have mobs it's easy for a timer it's easy for them to spawn it they know how to do that and they have loot table they have they have everything at their disposal someone just needs to turn it on at this particular time um let me know what you think in the comments as always you liking the video commenting sharing it whatever subscribing um yeah i appreciate it a lot that's it that's the, that's the video just a bit of a chat just a bit of an idea i hope you enjoyed it i hope you get behind me on this one looking forward to reading your comments and i'll see you on the next video